There we go. Alright, hi guys. This is Monday, I believe the 23rd, right? Yep. The 23rd. Two days after Comic Con. Two days after Comic Con. And uh, what we'd like to do is show you a few things what we picked up. Comic Con was pretty cool. Mm. We had a good time. Uh, we wish we had stayed for the second day, but we had things to do. But there just wasn't enough time and not enough money to see all the artists, get everything that we wanted. But it actually was a pretty decent time. It was our first time going. And uh, what we can tell people who it's their first time is get ready to stand in a line for a very long time. At least an hour. Yeah, I think we stood in a line to get in a line, right? And then once we got out of that line, we had to go to another line. So get used to lines. But once you're inside, it was very cool. Yeah. Um, wish we did a, a few pics and videos it, in there. Yeah, but, they're uh, very cool costumes. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. a lot of costumes. Very nice. I wish we could have seen them all and taken pictures of them. But what we're going to do now is we're going to show you what we picked up. This is our art collection over the years. And what we'll do is we'll point out what we picked up. Our little uh, grabs from uh, Comic-Con 2012 in Boston. So we'll start off with, uh, this is our artwork that we have down here in front. It's just about everything that we picked up at Comic-Con. Just about, yeah. So we got some really neat, neat prints from everybody. Some really good Texaria stuff, which was awesome. He did a, a nice Vampirella right there. That was pretty cool. And then he did another one here of Vampirella, which was awesome. We really liked that one. Made every single one he did, he put in a, a little sketch, which was really, really cool. He did this over here, too, with this Conan. That's a nice Conan print. And if you look down here, right there, you can see how he made that little drawing there, that little sketch. With his uh, his name Mark in 2012, so that was pretty neat. Uh, definitely a neat print. And then we picked up this Thor, and then if you can see here, he did another right there with the black magic marker, which was really awesome. So that was the Thor, and then um, we headed on over, and we picked up stuff from uh, Billy Talkie, and. Uh, Sergeant Rock. Yeah, Sergeant Rock from the Lost Battalion. Uh, Billy was in the Army, and uh, I was in the Marines, so we had a little fun with that. What a great guy, the two of them. Uh, really awesome guys, and we had a good time. And uh, bought three prints, and he gave me one free, which was this one right here, of course, USMC. Yes, and uh, that, that's, that's pretty cool, so... And of course, he signs them all, and they want. It seemed like every print out there was like twenty bucks for a print. Yeah. Then we got Ken Kelly here, Ken yeah. Kelly with the Vampirella, which was really awesome. That was that was pretty cool. And what I've been doing on the back is just making sure that uh, I remember where I got them and who I got them <laughs> from. Yeah. Because as you get older, your brain turns to mush. <laughs> now here's another talkie. Right here, Billy, is Captain America uh, with the uh, Constitution in the background. It was a really, really nice um, print. Then we got this. Uh, this was um, Greg Horn. And this is a Bat uh, Batman. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, DC and Marvel Batman. It's Spider-Man right there with Daredevil. I thought this was a really, really, really good print. This is so cool. It's kind of dark. But, uh, it's cool. very, very cool. Yeah, it's cool yeah. in the end. And then we got old Superman here getting ready to shoot his uh, lasers from his eyes, his heat vision, which is pretty cool. I mean, this, this is an awesome, awesome. Let's see it better like that. That's an awesome uh, yeah. and print. From, That's and real we, cool. When we picked that up, the artist said that, most people didn't like him. Yeah. With red eyes. I don't know. I don't see why, because he looks really, really cool with that. I mean, you can make the assumption that he's like ready to shoot a vision. civilian, but you know, it's, it's Superman. He's not Bizarro. 
this one here is very cool. This one is is another um, Greg Horn, and uh, that's that's the Avengers, which was really awesome. And when did you pick that up? Same time I got those. Oh, it, okay. Yeah. So it was twenty. It was twenty dollars a print, and then any print after that was ten dollars. And then these are pretty neat. These are these were um, all giant giant uh, covers of comic books and I picked up yep. I picked up uh, five for twenty dollars but then they were the really huge ones oh yeah they were they were the huge ones that um, yeah they were big that uh, they're probably as big as the bed over there it would have took up the whole wall so uh, yeah we didn't get those then uh, this one here Wonder Woman from um, See, Michael Dooney. I'm glad I did that. Which I thought was really awesome. And he actually had some pretty good Wonder Womans that said Boston uh, Comic Con 2012. So that was pretty neat. So I, I spent the rest of the day looking for Bernie Wrightson, and uh, that never happened. But what I did do is I did bump into Mr. Feldstein, who did mad comic books, and he did a lot of sci-fi stuff, and we just got blurry over here for a minute. So, uh... Here we go. That's better. Okay. So, Mr. Feldstein stuff. And uh, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. Mm. Um, so he ended up writing that out for me. He does a lot. He does mad. He did a lot of EC stuff. Um, very nice guy. So then we got over here in the corner. You will see. Oh, yep. Yeah. This stuff I bought with my mommy is a... This, this came from Steve Scott. Yep. And Steve Scott, he, um... I ended up buying a print of Santana. And he actually gave this one to Alex. Me. For free. Alex. Hey. Right there. Mm -hmm. There's Alex. Yeah, you yeah. money for it. Yeah. So he gave him that free. And then Alex bought this one here. With Bubba Fett fighting the Master Chief. Which was pretty cool. So now we're looking at this stuff here, and this is the Xantana that I picked up from Steve Scott. And that's actually, I think I got a steal for this. This was $50, I think. And uh, probably one of the cheapest print I saw out there, but well worth the money. Definitely well worth the money. That's an awesome print. And then, um, as you can see, throughout the years, we picked up some pretty neat stuff. What you're looking at there, the Brother Power, that's a, a color cover for the um, Geek Number no. 1. They sent that to the printer so they can um, check out the colors of what they're going to do the comic books for. And then we have some lithographs here. We got Captain America, Daredevil. And then I've got over here uh, racks. Um, Chicken right here, which um, if I can get that focus for you, which kind of sucked a little bit, but all right, there we go. But this is pretty neat. That's a pretty neat one. And here's here's an awesome uh, here's an awesome display right here. This is from the desk of Jimmy Olsen, which is a two-piece artwork that I picked up, and I forget where I picked it up because I wasn't smart enough to write on the back like I do now. Um, but that, that's definitely, that's a Jimmy Olsen piece, and it has a lot of neat stuff. Then we got what, John, we have John Romita's signature here, Stan Lee here for Overkill, and then we got more color stuff here, uh, Vampirella, the Hulk, Spider-Man. If anybody's old enough to remember, this stuff right here is, um, some some cell work from heavy metal when she's riding the bird then we come over here's another one this is um oh uh, this is from uh now oh, here we go we gotta figure out what i did here so this is from uh, uh what is the name of this i'm having a brain fart um 
Jeez, I can't remember the name of it. See, that's why I'm supposed to write on the back. But this is, it's a background, and it's got three different cells, and basically it shows you, and here's the master drawing for it, and what happens is, oh, here we go, look. This is it right here. There's, the name of this is Hey Good Looking, and this is a Ralph Bakshi work. Um, he did uh, uh, Wizards, he did... Um, uh, what was it? Uh, street, street fighters, and uh, he did an American. Uh, what the hell is it? I'm trying to remember. It was um, a rock, a animated rock video, kind of like American Graffiti, but that's not it. It's American something. I can't remember it. Um, then of course I got a Pink Panther over here. And then we slide in at the Daredevil, Captain America, and then we got panels of Star Trek. That uh, came from uh, Star Trek, and uh, I forget what uh, what issue that is. Then we have uh, oh wait a minute, here we go. I was smart enough to do this. I did a little research, so this comes from Star Trek number twenty-one. So I got the comic book in there, and then this is the the actual the actual um, layout. This is Cobalt. And Cobalt coming out of uh, issue number nine, and this was uh, DC Milestones. So that's a, that's actually a pretty good one. I like that. Uh, this this is a What If. This came from What If. It was number thirty-five by Brian Lyman, which was pretty cool. Make it a little zoomed in. Yeah. Let's see. And then we got what's this one? This one is a. Uh, Superman Annual Number One with uh, Giant Gorilla, Giant Gorilla, and then we have uh, Our Worlds at War with Wonder Woman Number Nine. I've been looking for that comic book and I haven't found it yet. And of course we have uh, Agani right here, which is pretty cool. Um, I picked this up at Larry's Comic Books in Low when he came to visit, so that was pretty neat. And then we got a few things down here. We have Vampirilla again. Yeah. That can't was the Valentine Day, uh, Valentine tour. Yeah, can't and tell. My dad's a big fan of Vampirilla. <laughs> then we have uh, Hey Good Looking again, another cell with the girls at the beach. And um, it's pretty neat, but it'll show you. 